Hello and welcome to Makers Monday. Um, just a quick pop in today. Um, I've been in Cardiff all day and uh, I'm absolutely exhausted. I really should have filmed this yesterday. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's going to be a bit late getting up on the uh, on the channel, but I wanted to update you on a few things. Um, first of all, where have I put them? Aha! First of all, knitting. Um, I <laughs> still have not finished the socks. <laughs> um, I really am procrastinating over over these afterthought heels. Um, I don't know whether it's because I've got to take out this stitching and pick up the stitches and yeah, whether I'm just nervous of it. But I have yet to kitchen a stitch these toes. I'm at the toes now at least. But I've yet to kitchen a stitch the toes. And yeah, still haven't still haven't finished them. I don't think I'll be doing afterthought heels again. Um oh, we are just about to be joined by our, one of our new additions to the family. Come on then. Come see hello. <laughs> this is Ariane. Our kitten who we got in December. And she's very purry and very cuddly. She shouldn't really be up here. Oh. So she may well wander in and out of shot. I do apologize in advance. So yeah, so afterthought heels. Um, don't think I'm gonna do them again. I think, I think my brain says once I've reached the toes of a sock, they should be finished. Um, I think they're good for the stripes like this. Um, and they're good for my OCD with stripes like this. But yes, mm. um, so yeah, still doing the socks. The next thing, sorry, you might be able to hear Little and in the background. Um, he is downstairs with Dad, so he might be requiring me very, very soon. Um, something else that's seen some love this week is the Modern Rainbow Crochet Blanket. I think I was about, I think it was about here the last time you saw it. I've done a, a wee bit. Sorry, there's a kitten just appearing behind me. She's leapt up behind me. So I'm now about halfway through the second ball. Um, and uh, and I'm going great guns on that. So that's, uh, I'm enjoying that. Um, that's quite nice and rhythmically back and forth. I'm, you know, just doing a little bit left, right and centre. Sorry, the kitten has just taken a nosedive down next to the radiator. Um, so that is the crochet. I have, um, I've done a bit of that. Um, I've had absolutely no time for sewing, although I have messed around with doing a, a teeny weeny box, but uh, that's about as far as I got. I was just using up some of the leftovers from the, the robot fabric, some of the cutoffs from the corners of the uh, the last box I did. Um, and just to see, um, but it would be really fiddly to do this size, really fiddly. So, um, yeah, that's as far as that got. <laughs> um, Working through slowly and doing my um, design your own wardrobe folder. So that will basically set out my projects now for the next year. Um, I shall share that with you when it's done. And um, two new things this week. Two new things. Sorry, the kitten is just pinging around like an absolute idiot. She's doing the wall of death around the bedroom. Um, so yeah, two new things. Um, an Ananuka, I think it is. Um, I've lost the little bag that came with it. Um, I think it's been tidied up. Um, I picked this up um, in uh, the frame and the kit that came with it um, at West Wales Wool Show this year. And um, it's basically weaving. So you see at the bottom there, it's a weaving loom. And then what I've done is I've used some of the materials. You probably see better on the back actually, the weaving side of things. That's the back, so there's a few tied in ends and things. That's the back. Um, but then I've used some of the bits and pieces. She also provides it with some bits and bobs. So I've made a tree out of the bits and bobs. Um, and uh, yeah, woven all sorts of different bits and pieces in and woven like a, almost like a path going to the tree. Um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. A little weaving. So I did that in about an hour or so, I think. It really didn't take long at all. Once it was warped up, I warped it up and then, um, yeah, just sat for half an hour. William wanted to help, so he's uh, picked out what came next type thing with the weaving. So yeah, quite pleased with that. 
I think I might do some similar frames and things for, for my uh, forest school. I think that could be quite a nice easy easy craft to do with some of the, the mums and tots. So yeah. And the other thing I have made this week is, for Makers Monday is a willow dome. So I shall insert some pictures of that here. Um, there will be more of a, a more of an in-depth video about the willow. Um, but yes, I'm very proud. First time I've made um, any sort of living willow structure and I think it looks okay so far. So fingers crossed everything takes. Um, in the... Oh, everything sort of takes in roots because um, it's all rods. Um, so fingers crossed it all roots and, uh, and we end up with a nice living willow dome. So hopefully through the through the year now you'll see that grow and, and develop through the through the different podcasts. So... Well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick flash in, flash out um, style um, Makers Monday. Hopefully next week there'll be a bit more substance to it with a bit more actual knitting and whatnot done. And uh, hope to see you all again soon. <laughs>